San Diego artists Paul Horn and Rebecca Hicks describe themselves as cartoonists. Hicks is the creator of Little Vampires. The Little Vampires came from a random comment my husband made about his diabetes, about his fingertips, because he's always checking his blood sugar. So he's like, yeah, my fingers look like they're being nibbled by Little Vampires. Cute Little Vampires. My elevator pitch for Little Vampires is they're literally little vampires, and they try really hard to be like big and fierce vampires, and they fail spectacularly at it. Horn writes and illustrates Cool Jerk. The easiest way to, to describe Cool Jerk is that it's the exact opposite of Family Circus. Right now, too dangerous probably for, uh, for newspapers. Which is fine, because neither Cool Jerk nor Little Vampires appears in a newspaper. You can just navigate the site using the little navigator tools up here. Cool Jerk and Little Vampires are web comics, which means they're published first online. The first web comic debuted in the mid 80s, but the format wouldn't take off for another decade. Cool Jerk and Little Vampires are just two out of tens of thousands of web comics now available online. For Hicks, the new format was about gaining access. If there was, and I'm not saying there was, but if there was any kind of, oh, we can't let the girls do comic strips attitude, it's, it doesn't exist in webcomics because there is no group of men or women saying, oh, no, yours has not really got, you know, wide appeal. Really, we all throw our work up there, and the stuff that sticks is the stuff that sticks, but is determined not by, once again, a small group of people, but by, well, the entire world in some cases. And there's one more difference. I think the difference is in the innovation. This is, this is the new technology. This is... Um, the new form of entertainment. And so that means that you're going to see some new cool stuff. I think webcomics are way more exciting than comic books now, and that's really hard for me to say. Part of that excitement comes from greater freedom for artists who are now their own bosses. There's no publisher worrying about ads or circulation to tell them what they can or can't do. It also means anyone with a computer and Internet access can start their own site. It is not necessarily difficult to get to break into the industry but to make an income at it is that's tough in fact cool jerks website is more about getting and keeping fans than generating income i don't sell advertising and the site nets zero money which is fine i've been okay with that so to make the money to continue with following the dream and all of that is uh, you know i pub i publish books does that line up the way it's yeah, it does <laughs> Like Horn's Cool Jerk, Hicks's website is not a source of income. Uh, my income comes through going to conventions and selling merchandise based on my work, selling art prints, you know, of, of my original art, and uh, any little thing I can slap a little vampire on. Or taking on commissions. And so things like logo design, um, I've done some, like, newspaper slash magazine type covers. I'm doing a picture book for a chiropractor. That's the nicest thing about conventions is you never know who you're going to run into. I like your style. I'd like you to do um, some work for me. I'm like, I'd like you to pay. Deal. It was part, It was awesome. I'm like, okay, never saw that one coming. Hicks finds that the best way to build her business is often one person at a time at conventions. The old school approach also applies to how they create their art. I still do my strip the way I have for nearly 25 years, and that is uh, with brush and ink. Hicks works in similar fashion. So I start with the pencils and just make sure that everything, f basically make sure everything fits. Then I go over with the ink pen, which is the most nerve-wracking part of the process for me because, ooh, you can't erase, though actually you can. If I do a line and then I'm like, mm, when I look at it later, that didn't really come out so good, I can fix it in Photoshop, but I try not to rely on that. I use uh, Photoshop for the coloring. Eventually, this will be a little vampire webcomic. Uh, Wolfie is thinking about how easy it's going to be to babysit his baby sister. You know, baby plus duct tape, easy. But like babysitting, a webcomic is never quite as easy as it might seem.